Hello guys, Vengeancer here. Bringing you another Last Chaos video. So here's my current setup. I, uh... Still just farming skill points. I haven't changed too much, but, um, with this... Cleric, Holy Bless, and the Guild... Buff. I'm getting almost three skill points per kill on this, uh, boss. Of course, the respawn time could be a little better. I have, however, done some gear upgrades. I get a new weapon. Um, Guild Advisor helped me out. He gave me the weapon and all the crap to upgrade it, and I traded him my old one, the 91 uh, green plus 15 that I had. He helped me out with crystals too, but there is what I have now. Uh, I kind of moved some things around. I put a defense in there, and uh, I put the HP one in there instead of the, the damage absorb and then when i get to 112 i got pants that have even more hp and hit rate just something to kind of help out because i miss a lot with this blue weapon so what i do is i normally sit here and uh farm these guys to get skill points i'm at 625 because i spent an upgraded uh dark glow to level two but once i hit uh, five minutes we're gonna let the rest of that one we'll kill this one and then we'll move on so once i hit max ignition which is the purple one let me pick this crap up i usually uh leave this place and go spend ignition uh i'm alternating between farming skill points and leveling right now when i have a cube buff save the quest until later 135 is when we want to do quests. So what I do is I get full ignition on the boss and then I uh, teleport over here to Trivia Canyon. Of course, it's dungeon time right now, so I'd probably go farm Trivia some more on uh, Sorcerers because it's easier for me to make gold on Sorks. My attack got upgraded a lot. It went from uh, 67 to 8600. So that's a 1900 uh, difference with the cube buff. Alright, so we gotta roll over here. Now with uh, ignition, I go ahead and I go farm uh, bloody nail golems. Takes a little bit to run there. But it's worth it because they can drop the 117 cast helmets. And 117 is the earliest level you can get a 30% cooldown reduction on Night Shadow. And I think what I'm going to do is probably when I get leveled and get my skills sorted out. So at 113 I get Judgment. So I need to farm for that, which is what I'm saving skill points for now. And then once I have that, I will uh, finish off these other skills that I need, the important ones. Uh, Misty Chain is just kind of a... Mm, I don't even care about that skill. But... It would be nice to get the higher deadly body and the um, magic and physical defense skill. And the movement speed skills and flight and mass drain. And just keep upgrading the other ones. Um, cruel nail golems are also something I need to farm. Because they drop the... Gloves, I believe it is. Let's see, what drops 115? Uh, cruel nail go golems drop gloves. I'll have to go fight Archmage uh, Quanians to get the shirt. I'll have to fight Hovering uh, Spirit of Rogue to get pants. And boots and helmets drop from the bloody nails. Wings I don't care about. They drop from the sorcerers and they can be green, but I have the cube wings. 
So they're they're fine. So I run down here. Here's where the bloody nail golems are. There's one here, one here, and uh, several more up here. So without ignition, takes a little bit. With ignition, hit them one time, they're gone. Now I don't. I'm not running boosters or anything to uh, boost the drop rate. I'm just hoping I'll get lucky. But it kind of um, boosts my XP and stuff. XP is two and a half times. Damage is boosted 15 times. But as you can see, I still have a little bit of issues with. Um, hit rate hoping later on that'll solve itself when I change weapons but for now I need the damage Ooh, some boots of course those are for a night but they could still be speedy boots, I would think. Look at all those misses in a row. 12 seconds, we can hit this guy. That's what I'm looking for, is those right there. Ah, it's a 115. We'll kill one and then move on. Yeah, it's a 115. I need a 117. They have the same name, but the level is different. The 115s cannot be uh, cast home. They're, they'll be green. Uh, I mean, it would still be better than what I have, but um, yeah. The 117s are what we're looking for. So the major things to take away from is whenever I get closer to the 117 level, what I will do is just instead of farming sorcerers to level, I'll just go farm bloody nail golems and just kill them over and over again. Um, because they can drop the boots and the, the helmet. And they both can be uh, blue six evasion. So now what I have to do is I gotta run all the way to sorcerers. Which is this way. Uh, this is a weird dungeon. It has three points you jump through. So my idea so far is I'm focusing on jumping between skill point farming and leveling when I have the cube buff and the other buffs. Um... If the other guy's on to buff me with the skill point uh, buffs from the uh, cleric, then I'll go farm the, the bosses, the Hecates, and uh, keep farming skill points. If he's not on and I have cube, uh, basically what I usually do is I will farm. I'll look and see if it's dungeon time. If it's not dungeon time, I farm skill points until I get ignition and then I go uh, use it on the bloody nail golems and then when I am done with that then if it's dungeon time I usually run to sorcerers and uh, just farm those because I get my gold back and I need to keep my gold up so I can buy silver magic totems until I get uh, accessories These things don't usually hit me uh, anymore. The archers worry me because they will uh, snare you, but I have some uh, potion, some escape potions. I need to level up so I can get movement speed, man. My movement speed is only 6.5. Slow. And 
and leveling is going pretty slow now. I'm at 35%. It's not too bad. Uh, I got with the with the cleric buff on. It's not bad. Uh, I was farming the bosses and I started at 19%, and so I gained 16 and a half percent farming those by the time I got max ignition. So it's not bad. They give the same uh, XP as the sorcerers when sorcerers uh, are during dungeon time. So I'll go kill the sorcerers right now and I'll get like 40 something. I think it's like 43 or 46. And that's what um, the Hecates give me. However, the Hecates uh, are harder to kill. Harder to kill than sorcerers, and they also have a uh, slower respawn time. So, like, for sorcerers, I can drop this here. See, I don't have haste anymore either, so that's kind of a pain. The other thing, though, is that sorcerers have more evasion than the gates. Hey, look, spirit, dark fallen root. Those are the other things I'm looking for. I need a 120 weapon. Be nice if that uh, is 120. Nice. So yeah, 44 million, and I get 2,500 with the guild buff on for the skills. So I'm I'm still earning skill points, just not nearly as fast. But the idea is to. Um, get to 113 as fast as I can and do some skill point farming in between as long as I get to 1170 by the time I get to 113 then I'm okay we'll get judgment and then that pretty much levels off all the skills that I really need like attacking skills so I could get Misty Chain, I guess, but it's 1,800 skill points for that. Uh, the next thing I will be focusing on is Mass Drain and um, Flight. I haven't worried about Flight really because there's only about three places I go, and I have them all bookmarked. So the Hecates that I'm farming, that's bookmarked. I teleport right to there. The only part it might help is in this... Um, running the trivia for Sorks, but those are the only two places that I really go. And then I go to the uh, Extreme Cube to get buffed, but I have a teleport straight to that too, so. But I will be glad when I get to 112 and I can wear this, I'd make my magic hit rate go up by uh, 30. So I'll be over 500. That should hopefully solve the issues with missing the monsters all the time. But the damage difference is very noticeable. I don't know, it, it, Last Chaos has changed so much that it's just very strange to me, because uh, I remember it years ago, whenever you were level 111, all the way until like, almost like 115 or something, 116, you got as much use out of the tomb as you could, but we can't level in Teo's tomb because nobody's on to to lower the difficulty or to reset it so uh, Sphinx commanders are just very very hard to kill they do give a ton of XP but they're very hard to kill I remember uh, back when I played this the first time before I quit 
the the tomb was where you go. You get a combat party and uh, have somebody set, and you go kill some commanders as much as you could. Pot up and use all the boosters you could. But now you just go and uh, get the cube buff. The more people you have in the party, the higher the cube party effect will be, the higher the XP and SP uh, gain will be. And then uh, the blue cube effect, you always get that, but it increases your attack and uh, deadly rate. So you do a ton of damage. But do that, and then you find a cleric to buff you with Holy Bless, and um, you don't even need uh, Platinum Blessed Irises anymore. Or boosters, really. I mean, I have some skill point boosters and uh, XP boosters and storage from the booster event when it was dropping, but but I haven't used them yet. I think what I'm going to do is save all my skill point boosters until I'm level um, close to 119 and use them. Because 119 gives the highest... Well, that was weird. Camera glitch. 119 gives the highest uh, skill point that I can get. I think it gives like 16,000 or something base. So if I boost him on top of having all these buffs, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can uh, cash shop my way to victory, you know? Maybe I'll get like a, a cap increase and get um, the... Get my buddy to help me. Um, give me the Q buff and all the buffs and everything, and then buy a uh, skill pill or something and get the cap up and then boost it so I get like 10 or 20 uh, skill points per. per kill. And it's not going to do much for me in terms of uh, farming because I don't have enough boosters, but maybe I can buy some or something. I don't know. Depends. I was trying to explain to the wife uh, about this game. She's like, why would you want to play that if there's like hardly anybody playing? It didn't sound very much fun. I was like... <laughs> Thinking, you don't understand what it takes to be number one. I want to be number one on the server. And there would be a lot of people playing if I didn't make my character on the wrong server. Uh, the Eurebia, or however you say that up there in the top right. Uh, that This server hasn't been out long enough to really have that many players. I think it's not even been out maybe a year. And, yeah, about a year, I think. And it was recommended whenever I uh, recreated my account because the account got deleted. I didn't go through with the transfer. 641. I didn't go through with the transfer whenever uh, it switched hands from the previous company. Publishing it to um, Game Ago. So. So I got... I got... Uh, I got fooled by the recommended server thing. If I had just went with the other original server, then um, when I had that problem, right here somewhere. Spent too much time farming these. You know, right where they're gonna spawn. But um, yeah, eventually they're going to server merge anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Like, when they do server merge, I'll already be high level, so I want to mess with all the low level stuff. Just have to fit in with the game population that's already there and um, find a guild and see about maybe doing some PvP, sieges, farming, who knows. But. Just depends on if I already got the best gear that I can get, or not. But I don't know how hardcore I'll go into farming the um, cast helm either, because you level so fast. I don't know if there's really much of a point, because 100% cooldown reduction is not a thing anymore like it was when I originally played. 
so you really can get as much as you can and uh it still won't be a hundred percent It doesn't calculate the same because used to the cast homes would be like 30 you percent know, it reduces your school your skill cooldowns by 30 percent now it's different you can get like 500 percent or something and it still doesn't give you a hundred percent cooldown reduction still getting a lot of these event items too I made a bunch of cakes earlier, which is going to help me later on when I have to really farm. But once I hit 112, we can wear these pants and get rid of these crappy green pants. And these pants are so bad, they're, they're f HP pants, but they're 4. Green 4 instead of green 5. They're, they're just terrible. Drop another totem. Uh, but these are from the cube. They're 112. And I uh, can't wear them yet. Level restriction. Unable to use equipment. Yeah. Too low. But that'll bump my HP up because it's got all five seals. Uh, the HP component is bigger. The con constitution components are bigger. Plus it has one more constitution. And then on top of that, I put in uh, the jewel, the jewel, the chaos coral level four that gives 2400 vital power. So I should be close to 15,000 HP whenever I get to one to where I can wear those in a level. This is going to put me at... 14,000, almost 600, and then the constitution and um, stuff will bump me up. So I'll be like, I'll be like 14,700 or something. Which would be good. Come on. Respawn, little guy. Really? Let me click it. The higher HP really helps. You don't uh, realize it until you have it. But having low HP sucks. And then if I need more HP, I can always go and farm SP and get my um, health up. I get I can get level 2 of that as soon as I get enough skill points. And that'll give me uh, another 300 health. So. But once I hit 113 and get Judgment... Uh, that's really my last milestone for a little while, so all I'm going to be doing is slowly... That was weird. Slowly leveling uh, up while grinding uh, more skill points. And whenever I hit 116, I'll grind the next like three levels slowly, like I've been doing. But once I hit 116, I can't farm the Hecates anymore. I'll be getting uh, less... I'll be getting less skill points than I do now, so I'll have to change over to the Aguaries, which are the 119 monsters, and slowly grind up to 120, and I'll use my boosters at 119 on the Aguaries monster. Ooh, Heaven Stones. Those are always good. Uh, hopefully, by the time I get to 119, I will have some better gear uh the gloves and the boots are okay the shirt is all right my wings are good i just need a better helm and better pants and if i can drop it i will replace everything with blue five or blue six evasion that will make it better uh, but i'll have to wait for a jewel event so i can get all my jewels out hey look i've been chosen to get um and chosen to get some moonstones. Moonstones are good. But this is what we do on Last Gas. We grind, grind, grind until we find somebody to beat up, and then uh, we go back to grinding some more. 
Whenever I was in college I and I uh, played this game way too much, I spent a lot of time just messing around, fighting people in the arena, or uh, guild warring with people because, you know, it's my spot, not yours, and then whole guilds would show up, and it was pretty... We would end up to, in some pretty big fights, and then you end up using tactics, running in and out of safe zone if the high levels show up, because, you know, I was never high level back then. We always were around level 90 to 100 or so. And then uh, later on, you know, it was like 100 to 120. I think I made it to 117 before they reworked the XP curve and before I lost my account with, with the, the transfers. But running in and out of the safe zone, see if you can get get somebody to, to flag on you or something. And then, uh, you know, before they change the logout process, you can just combat log real fast and log back in. Uh, people had some dirty tactics back then. But it is what it is. Times are long gone. However, I can still be highest level on the server. Uh, I can get to 190 and uh, claim that I'm the highest level Night Shadow. Because this guy here... He, when I started back on this server, he was 120. He hasn't um, been playing at all. Magic defense, 43 on level 115 wings. My magic defense on wings are 140. There's no point in upgrading wings. I guess I could upgrade my wings to plus 3. Same with my uh, shirt. I guess I could upgrade it to plus three. And then my pants later on. Well, I'll keep dragging this out. It's been long enough. I'm just going to sit here and grind for a little while and see if I can't stack up some XP. Maybe I can get to 112. Um, and I just wanted to give everybody an update. I've been having a really busy last few days. Um, a lot of stuff going wrong. Things breaking that shouldn't be breaking out on the farm. And uh, so we've just been busy. Haven't had a chance to sit here and record, but uh, I got frustrated today. Broke a uh, sway bar link on the truck and uh, trying to get the old one apart. Not going well, so uh, I got a little frustrated and decided I'm done for the day and I'm going to come back and sit and record. We, um, I'm going to have to take it to. Just gonna have to drive it on the highway and drive it over to another shop so that uh, we can use a cutter to cut it off. I don't have one here. And then uh, replace it with the actual part that's not broken. But one thing after another, and I finally tracked down the electrical problem on the, on the Jeep. So, or at least I think I have. So that's uh, that's always good. But just a lot of stuff breaking that. Um, shouldn't break you know but things do wear out put your head down fix them and uh, move forward but um and try again harder the next day but for now we have last chaos and uh, my other half of my channel i have black desert and try to relieve some stress and not worry about it so if you enjoyed the video, uh, go sub and like. If you're not subbed, uh, like anyway. And uh, let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. And I appreciate everyone that's subbed so far. That's all I got. So as always, until next time.